Uh, there is a fantastic fair for moms and pops and tots uh, that is happening this weekend, and it really is a place to go to find out what's hot, what's happening, what to do as a family. Uh, also, if you need counseling, if you need care, if, you, if, if you're wondering what's on trend, what's on point, uh, and latest educational tools, all that we'll talk about today, but also what you can do for families in our province that is extraordinary, awesome, and there are very few museums that you can take your children to where they are allowed to touch and crawl and play on pretty much just about anything. Stephen, I hope I've totally said the truth. You bet. Is that right? You bet. Okay, phew! Uh, by the way, welcome, Stephen, of course, <laughs> from you. Alberta Railway Museum, a great place for families. Yeah, definitely. It's a great place to come out and have fun. So the Mum, Pop, and Tot show, we're going to have Thomas out. Well, you've yes. actually got <laughs> We've actually brought Thomas out. We brought Thomas in the miniature. So you can come to the Mom, Pop, and Tot show and see Thomas, and then come the May Long weekend, come out to the Alberta Railway Museum, have some fun, get in the train, go for a little trip, climb up on everything like Bridget has. Bridget, I think, has checked out everything. Oh, my God. Like, but there are, would, would you not agree that there are very few museums where you can actually, like, this car, like, you have cars from, oh, my gosh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a ridiculous day, like, I'm going to say 1914. No. Yeah, really? yeah, we've got cars from, you know, the turn of the century, and we've got cars that used to actually be sleeping cars in Alberta. You could take the train from Edmonton and go up to the Peace River country on an overnight train. And so you can actually have the kids crawl up into the berth oh. and check it out and say, hey, you know, this is kind of neat sleeping on the train. It's sort of like being in the RV, only there's, <laughs> you know, 30 other people in here. It was like a, a slumber party. Yeah, it, it's just like the RV, except way cooler. Uh, the, the thing that's also really amazing is that you get a respect for how we used to travel. And, and as a family, there are very few places that everyone gets something out of the experience. And that's what I see when I go out there is that they're, like, the, the parents love the fact that you've got these big engines. Like you've got a couple of engines that you actually fire up. Is, is it coal I'm thinking of? Uh, it's a steam engine, yes. Steam engine, right, right, right. Yeah, and yeah. we've got those, and so it's, as you say, it's something great for everyone. So the kids come out, they got a place to run around, they can climb up and climb down stuff and go up in the caboose and, you know, wave and, you know, pretend <laughs> they're the conductor. They go in the engine and pull back on the throttle. So that's great for the kids. Mom and Mom's happy because, you know, the kids are happy, right? <laughs> Dad's going, hey, look at this big machine, you know, yeah. check out the engine on that one. <laughs> and then, you know, often you get the grandparents, you get the three generations, and the grandparents come out and say, you know, I remember when I was 15, I took the train from Manitoba to Edmonton, and, you know, I spent the summer, you know, working out my aunt's garden or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So you get that whole experience or, you know, the, well, I, you know, went across Canada on the train and my mom gave me a shoebox full of sandwiches and Good I had to son. ration them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's, it really is an awesome place and that is what is so great that these guys will be there so you can plan your summer because uh, you, it, it is, it's like what, 10, 15 minutes, not even some, from some parts of the city now. It is like entering a whole other world. So I'm so glad you guys are going to be there because I think you're one of the, I've always said you're one of the best kept secrets in the entire province. I love you guys. Well, thanks so much, Bridget. We always appreciate you coming out and giving us a hand, too. Oh, so. so much fun. The Alberta Railway Museum is an extraordinary place. You literally walk amongst all of these cool cars, engines. You get to go in, climb in, and you know what? It's a museum, but you get to touch everything, uh, except the staff. That's just hands off, right? <laughs> I mean, is that fair to say? Nice to see you, though. I'll great, give you a super. respectful handshake. Awesome. Uh, we'll be back more talking about what is wonderful, what is great, what you can experience for families this weekend. Stick with us.